You people love, you, you they come here, whatever it is, you love our way of life, you love our milk and honey, at least you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies or something like that. These are the words that sparked outrage. The reason why Sportsnet has parted ways with Don Cherry. I don't know why he thinks like that. The comments came Saturday night on the weekly segment Coach's Corner, and one day later, Sportsnet's president issued a statement calling the comments offensive, but there was no word on disciplinary measures. That came on Monday afternoon in the form of a new statement that says, following further discussions with Don Cherry after Saturday night's broadcast, it has been decided it is the right time for him to immediately step down. People have mixed feelings on the development. I think they're pushing it a little bit too far. Sad that this is the way it end for the guy, right? Like after all these years. While others say it was the right choice to make. I think it was something that was needed to be done to show people in those positions that you guys can't make controversial comments about immigrants. The National Hockey League issued a statement on Monday saying the decision was justifiable, adding the opinions he expressed are in direct conflict with the values of diversity and inclusion that we embrace as pillars of our sport. Don Cherry made remarks which were hurtful, discriminatory. On Sunday, Ron McLean addressed the controversy. I owe you an apology too. That's the big thing that I want to emphasize. I sat there. Uh, did not catch it, did not respond. I was glad that Ron stood up and said something, but it's too bad he couldn't find it himself to do it in the moment. But there's been no public statement from Cherry himself. The 85-year-old only quoted in a Toronto Sun article saying, I have just learned I've been fired by Sportsnet for comments made on Coach's Corner November 9th. In the article, Cherry is also quoted saying, I know what I said and I meant it. Everybody in Canada should wear a poppy to honour our fallen soldiers. Some experts say Cherry has had a history of making controversial statements. Well, I guess the only surprise for a lot of people is that it's taken this long, that he lasted till 85, you know, throwing zingers out there into the public uh, that seem to always get excused or people slough them off. But the backlash from his most recent comments shows it is something that is not being tolerated. Eric Avella, Global News. And reaction continues to pour into social media. The hashtags Fire Don Cherry and Don Cherry Must Go were among several that were shared. Another hashtag that was used, I stand with Cherry. But Twitter Canada says Fire Don Cherry has been used 15 times more often than I stand with Cherry.